Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doke Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the new step up banner for the New Year Dokan Festival celebration. So this is the New Year's step up banner. It happens every year and it's pretty much guaranteed to happen around now. Uh, depending on your time zone it should roughly happen on the New Year's Day and basically it comprises of five steps. Now this year is a bit different and we'll talk about that just now but the first step is only 20 stones and guarantees you one of these category leads. They're a little bit older category leads, but some of them are really, really good. We've got the Freezer and the Goku who recently got their Easy A. A lot of these units are expected to get Easy A's. Some great units are cooler. Then we have the 30 stone uh, version of the category lead. Again, some of the newer DFEs. Uh, nothing too crazy, but again, some really, really good DFEs, including Hit, who also got his recently overpowered Easy A. Then we have step three, which is the first 50 stone summon. It is for a older LR unit, but still a very, very good deal. Guaranteed LR. Uh, you've got the Tech Broly there, the AGL Kale and Khalifla. You've got Baby Vegeta, Goku Frieza, who got their EZA, Bardock with his EZA. Just overall some pretty dope units. Uh, then, of course, once we get past your strength, Broly with his EZA, don't forget him. Then, of course, once we step past this area of the banner, we head on to step four. This is 50 stones, but guarantees you one of the newer DFEs. So these are DFEs all the way up to Gohan Kid, who was a couple months ago. You can get the GT duo. You can get Super Saiyan Broly. You can get Goten and Trunks, who are crazy. You can get Paiku Han, who's crazy. Videl, Janemba. Pretty much a lot of super dope DFEs that have pretty much come throughout the course of the year. Super Saiyan 4, you've got Bojack, you've got Frieza Angel, you've got Teen Gohan. So you've got plenty of great units. And then finally, we have a Step 5, which comprises the LR units. So some of the latest LRs, pretty much everything up to the LR banner for the anniversary. You've got Android 17 and the reps of Universe 7, you've got Golden Freezer Angel 17, you've got Tapion and Minosia, you've got Super 17, Super Saiyan 2 Movie Gohan version, Turles, Vegeta Angel from the previous download celebration, Jiren Full Power, and you also have the God Goku, the UI Goku, you've got Vegeta and Nappa, and you've got the main allies from the previous anniversary. So a pretty crazy banner, um, pretty rocking banner overall, uh, obviously great value. Uh, so a couple of things just to mention about this. So in total, a run on the banner will cost you 200 stones. There are three rounds only. So if you run this, it'll cost you 600 stones. You're guaranteed in those 600 stones at minimum six LR units and nine category units which is pretty crazy the really cool thing about the banner is that the banner pulls from the same pool so on the first second third fourth and fifth steps you have a chance at getting bonus units basically you have a chance of getting even more allies you have a chance of pulling some of the cool dfe units you have a chance of pulling extra category units it's just pretty crazy overall. Uh, it's a really good banner. It's the best step up banner we've ever had on DBZ Dokkan Battle because it guarantees two LRs. All previous banners have pretty much only guaranteed one LR with the final summon. This one is different. It guarantees two LRs and I believe they're doing this because the pool of LRs has increased so they'll be doing that going forward. But if you run up to step three you already get an LR. So there's an LR chance for 80 stones or less which sorry 100 stones or less which is pretty crazy uh if you think about it so yeah is this worth your time most definitely uh obviously if you have every single unit rainbowed in the game this is not going to be worth your time but if you are a player new player old player veteran player whatever and you need to pull on this banner it is a very very good for you it's going to help you complete a ton of content it's going to help you get a ton of high valued units if you are not interested in some of the older units, you are going to have to go to the, la the latter, the latter, thank you, stage of the banner. 
So you are going to need 200 stones minimum if you are looking at investing up to a certain point on the banner. Should you not have those stones, do not summon on the banner, rather save your stones. You need to make sure that you get to the step where you have a chance of getting the unit that you want. So if I want to get Namek Goku, I need to make sure that I get to step 2. If I want a shot at some of the older allies, I need to make sure I get to step 3. You have to make sure that you get to the step you want so that you have a decent shot at getting the unit that you want. You're going to struggle to pull the unit out of step. There's a chance that you can do that, but you're going to struggle because there are so many featured units on the banner. So I suggest that you make sure you can get to the step that you need to have a shot at the unit you want, and then anything else is a bonus. That's going to be your best bet. Obviously, if you can do all three rounds, you're going to walk away with a ton of allies. You're going to walk away with a ton of great new DFE units. You're going to walk away with a whole new range of better units. If you can only do one round, do one round and then consider whether you have enough stones to get to the step where you might pull a unit that you want and then go back in. Otherwise, just save your stones. But that's going to be it from me, guys. That's my thoughts on the banner. And as always, leave a comment about your own and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye.